All right, in this tutorial, we're going to work on the lights here. Um, let's stop with the windshield. We'll probably add some flanges here after we've worked on the air intake. Uh, so we'll probably work on a really quick rear view mirror just for some nice detail. Uh, so let's go ahead and work on the headlight. So let's go ahead and create a polygon cylinder. Go ahead and create that, and we're going to go ahead and put it on the ground here and pop it like so. Some of this uh, we're going to take out later. Let's go ahead and rotate it 90 degrees. All right, if you don't see this, it, this is, oops, I'm going to scoot this over. This is your channel editor. This is your attribute editor here, and also your channel editor. You can get to your rotate uh, Z axis and just rotate that if you're having difficulty. So now I'm going to go ahead and go into my front view. You can look at the uh, the Cobra car online. See what this uh, headlight looks looks like. I'm just going to kind of guess the size of this. Hit R. Size is up all the way out to the largest point of. And so we're going to start extruding and creating some curves. All right, let's go to our side view. Hit F. Pull this over to here. Hit F. Get up close. You may want to turn off the rest of the car. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we don't have to fight the geometry. Okay. So there we go. I don't know which drawing to believe, but we can always resize this stuff down. All right, so I go ahead, go right tick, right check, hit R and squeeze this down. W. All right, I'll go back over here. F. And go ahead, suck my faces here. All right, I do not like the way I have to select this. So I'm going to go in here and show you how to uh, select it so you can just select the uh, dots, not the... Just open up the script editor. We do not need that. We actually want the preferences, which is on the top here. Just click on that. It's a little tiny little box here. Get to your preferences. And I'm going to go to my selection. And instead of whole face, I'm going to go to center. Just uh, just because that's the way uh, I grew up selecting these in Maya for the past 10 years. They've had it we select like that. So for me, it's easier to do that. So now I'm going to go keep these faces together. Make sure you have that and extrude uh, one more time. Let's see, and I'll pull this out. Basically, we're just trying to create a gentle curve here. R, and squeeze this down. And I'm going to extrude one more time. The R. And I create a little bit of a lip here. Hit G, W, R. Just a little bit, and I hit W, and punch this back. Right, G, W, and punch it back a little bit further. Go ahead and delete that. And we could probably delete the uh, back of this, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it. So I'm going to go ahead, could extend it back, but I'll keep it as is. It looks pretty good. So now what we want to do is create a dome. Right now, this is triangulated data, so if we uh, smooth it, it will not uh, look smooth in the center. We want a nice cone out here for our glass. All right, so we click off of here. That looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and create a polygon sphere. And what we're going to do is go ahead and create it like so. And we're going to butcher it. We are going to destroy it because we don't want the whole sphere, we just want part of it. So let's go ahead, size it up a little bit. 
And I'm going to go to Phase. I've got my dots on there. This makes it easier for me to select it. All right. And we want to go ahead and squish it down. Go to my perspective. I'm going to hit E, rotate it around. Again, I'm using my 90 degree on my rotate Z. Rotate it however you want, however you feel fit. All right, hit W. I'm go to my front view for the best vantage point for this. And then I go one more view. Get it to sit directly over like that. All right, looks pretty dang good. All right. So you're following the curves of your original drawing. And it's sticking in there just right. There's nothing bulging out. All right, so that is our light there. So let's go ahead and turn everything back on. Make sure it's sitting there. And it's on the wrong side. Isn't that cute? All right, so let's go ahead and select it and move it over to where it belongs. All right, let's go to our front drawing here. And pull it back over here, right where it belongs. Except. So now you can see some of our body panels are bulging out and uh, just some of it's not sitting in there properly at all. But we know it belongs there. So we're going to do a lot of uh, cleanup here where this is meets up. But we definitely want that uh, headlight right where it's supposed to be. So what I'm going to do is actually duplicate it, uh, this little one, and put it down there because they're almost the same shape and look. I'm going to go ahead and look at what it looks like online. Basically the same shape. Uh, no reason to remodel it when you can uh, steal from your own model. All right, so we go ahead and select this. I hit uh, Command D. Pull this down and hit R. And squeeze both of them down. Go ahead and look at my front view. Get my proportions on my front view, how small this sucker is going to be. Put it in place. You can go a little bit larger if you want. It doesn't matter to me. All right. Go ahead and put this into the right spot here. Hit W. All right. Looks like something funky happened there. Let's hit select. Looks like the lens moved back for some reason. Let's turn off this label. Okay, front panel, so we got that turned off. All right, so for some reason, this is behaving really strange. So definitely wanna Size this up and put it where it belongs. Hit F. Don't spend too much time on this. Uh, hit R. Right, there we go. Again, don't spin. Like I said, keep it simple. And yeah, we'll do subdivisional so that this has a nice, smooth look to it. Turn our front panel back on, and you can definitely see that we're going to punch this back. I think we can go ahead and do that now. Let's do that in a little bit. Uh, don't want to get too far ahead in this tutorial. Uh, we're going to do a soft select so we can show you how to do that. And let's wait on that, but at least we know where we have our headlights in place. We've got our windshield, our rollover bar. And so next we'll probably work on uh, probably on the gas tank here maybe, or we'll probably work on the hood and start cleaning that up. Probably the hood. All right, looking pretty good.